Hello everybody. Welcome you all to my this session. In this tutorial today we will see MongoDB array operation, array query. Okay. So let's start. So guys, uh, as you can see, our title query of uh, an array. Okay, it's quite easy. Uh, first of all, I will make you clear using their documentation. Then we will go to our Robo 3D client. Okay. As you can see, they are giving us our uh, one, uh, one document here, and it has item and quantity and tag array. Okay. We will use this tag array to learn our query on an array, and this is the another uh array dim underscore cm okay so to run query let's clear this there uh, automatically in included included terminal and copy and if we insert this document to learn our query if we run here as you can see acknowledge to do inserted object this object are has been inserted okay so how can we check our uh, object here as you can see uh, this was our inserted object so let me check my um Doc, uh, documents here using find okay and if i run as you can see it's showing me all my object but if i use dot p r e double t y t t uh, then if i run my command it will show me if beautiful so every object as an object id as you can see an item name and quantity and to array of uh, what are string and an array of number okay now let's go to the next query match an array so how can we match an array suppose I, I, this query will find those uh document have tags red and blank let me show you red and blank has the fourth first uh, document has the tags red and blank okay so let me copy my query here and if I paste it and if I uh, run this query, it's returning the four. Let me show you using pretty P R E double T Y pretty. Okay. As you can see it is returning uh, only one object actually it has red and blank. Tag red and blank. Actually Tax red and blank, but it should return these also. These also. Oh, actually, it has red, blank, and plain. Uh, blank and red. So, as you can see, to specify equality condition on an uh, uh, array, use the query document field uh, where value is exactly array to match including the order of the element actually it's affecting the order if we uh, use this curly bracket here the order and the exact match should be uh, implemented here okay now let's query an array for an element uh, suppose if you want to find only the uh, field only the document which tags has read only let me show you if i just copy Control V and run. It's returning a lot of uh, 
document here those has tag it okay actually let me show you we have one two three four four document here and if i count how many document do you and the count the count okay if i run as you can see it's returning four that means we have four document here that has tag rate okay let me show you the next one as you can see db.inventory.find tags all red and blank let me read out this if instead you wish to find an array that contains both the element red and blank without regard to order if we think we don't need to think about order only those who has red and blank it will return all of them let me copy this and let me paste it out here okay then we are pretty okay as you can see it is returning the four element because the four element has red and blank only the last element has only blank okay now come to the next query uh, so uh, i think you got the all positional uh, operator all uh, okay now we will see query of uh, an of uh, an array for an element if you only want to check uh, one element it will return this and uh, let me show you this what does this exa uh, example do actually we can array in our uh, we can use greater than or less than in our array like this so it will return let me clear okay now if i put here as you can see it is returning this because it has greater than 25 value in this dm underscore cm array okay so we can also use greater than less than in a array okay. and then specify multiple condition for array element if we want to check this greater than or less than then we can easily do this greater than 15 and less than 20 that means we can uh, use multiple operator in a single array in our database okay so i have copied this and if, if, if i uh, paste it here it will returning this documents those has uh, value dm underscore cm greater than 15 and less than 20 okay it's uh, it has also 21 and 14 and 14 14 and and it has uh, 14 okay it's returning all the objects which is uh, or it's working like or okay now if we want to use element mass what will we do use element mass operator to specify multiple criteria on the element of an array such that the that uh, L, uh, at least one array element is satisfy all the specified area that means it will work like and it must have to have greater than 22 and less than 30 okay so if i copy this and if i run this query here it's returning only one because it's working like an uh working like an and operator and here we also using greater than less than but it's not it's returning uh, if any one of them condition become true and the element mass is returning if both of them condition is returning true okay so uh, we can also use index here to check and dm underscore cm dot one that means the one uh, element greater than 25 let me show you okay it's returning this 
because dm underscore cm zero one greater than twenty five. Okay, if I uh, make greater than two hundred five, and if I run this command, it is not returning anything because we don't have any value which one element in dm underscore cm has greater than is equal to twenty five. Okay. Now, now let me show you other uh, uh, query. The last one is we can uh, uh, query an array by array length. Use the size operator to query for array by number of element. For example, the following select document where the array tags has three element okay it will it will uh, only find where the tag size has three okay it will uh, so as you know it will return only the four element because the only four element has tag size three okay this element has tag size only three red blank and plain not four element this is the only one has uh, tag size three okay we can query with using also also size and that's it and let me show you the other part it's also easy we can query with the embedded uh, uh, document in an array it's as as you can see it is a little bit different than the uh, earlier one it has uh, it has a array but in the array it has some embedded document this document and this document let me copy this and insert this inventory in our this database okay so it has been inserted let me clear okay query for a document nested in an array now how we can query in a document uh, nested document actually this is nested in a uh, array how we can query we can just write the array name actually and then the sub name and then we can use multiple uh, selection here if we copy this it will work those in stock warehouse has a and quantity 5 it's returning only this it's working like and okay and if i use this dot notation to enter the uh, enter the quantity that means enter the nested uh, object we can enter this or we can query to them okay if i paste this as you can see in stock dot quantity means this in stock dot quantity okay we can enter in the embedded document using this dot and if i run this query it's returning which has value in constant quantity less than 20 okay okay so i think this this and this, the four document has a quantity less than 50 uh, for 20 so it is returning the four element okay we can also see the uh, number here by dot c o u n t count okay uh, okay five five element actually okay less than is equal to 20 okay this is there is also uh, uh, this condition is false but the, the this condition is working well and the last one we can use this 
selection in a find method without having anything it will work like an ant uh, so let me show you using copy this we can run this query okay if we run this it's returning only those quantity has 5 n mr dot warehouse has a let me show the number then it will be clear to you okay two only it is returning two let me check uh quantity five and what has a exactly quantity five where has a this is and uh it's returning only this and this where has a quantity five so it's written only this so this is how we can query on our embedded array document or in array in mongodb so in the next tutorial we will see some other example on query on mongodb mongodb array thank you all to stay with me